hello guys let's see how we can solve this problem from lead codes weekly challenge this is to find the maximum dot product of two subsequences so we are given two arrays and what we need to find uh, non empty subsequences from these two arrays nums1 and nums2 and uh, then what we are supposed to do is uh, the the subsequences should be of same length and then we need to do a dot product and see what's the maximum amount of value that we can found, find from this dot product for example here if if we take 2 and minus 2 and we take 3 and minus 6 from nums2 their dot product is 18 and that's the maximum that we can form and sim similarly here if we take 3 and we take 7 so the maximum that we can form is 21 and we cannot form more than that uh, also the point to note here is that we need to find uh, this by taking a subsequent which is not empty so in in here if you multiply any value we, you will get a uh, minus one so if empty subsequence was allowed you could have get better like by not taking any values from any of these array and you will get zero so let's see how we can solve this problem first of all to solve this problem we need to understand how we can form a subsequence from a given array so let's suppose we have two sub two such sub uh, two such arrays this one and this one and we need to find a subsequence from this array and subsequence from this array so a subsequent can be formed by deleting one of the elements from the given array or in other words we can also say that we can form a subsequent by selecting one of the you know, selecting few elements only in the same order from a given array for example we can select this this and this one from array one and these and this and this one from array two the uh, only point that we need to note here is that whenever we are going to select a particular element from either of the array we need to select another element uh, select the other element from one of the other array so let's see how we can then f form the maximum such subsequence whose dot work will be maximum now that we have seen how we can form a subsequence from a given array let's see how we can form the best subs best such subsequences from each each of these array so that we can get the maximum dot product so we can start with the, an uh, iterator pointing at the zeroth index for both of these array now at every moment we have four different options of going ahead so first option is that we can select both of the current in el element from the current index that means the point where the current iterator is pointing to so if we are going to choose one element then we have to choose the current element from the second array as well so in this case the answer will be uh, this product of yeah and the answer will be the product of these two values let's say these two values are a and b and then what we can do is we can move ahead and solve the rest of the problem from the next two element next two uh, indexes that means i plus one if the this one was i and this is j these two pointers are i and j then the next uh, sub problem would be to solve this solve this one for uh, for j i plus one and j plus one right the other possibility that we can have here is that instead of choosing these two we can simply have uh, in, increase the iterator from here and we could have just gone to the next uh, next element lying in the both of these array and then from here we would choose the other answer so the answer from here would should be let's say if this is answer one this should be answer two so answer two should be for sub problem i plus one and j plus one yeah In the similar manner, we can just uh, increase the current index for J and keep the uh, index for I at the same place. And so the, uh, in that case, we will have the sub problem to solve is I uh, for the index starting from I and J plus one. So keep in mind in both, both the cases, answer two and answer three, 
we are not adding anything to the sub problems that we are going to solve because we haven't chosen any element at this moment and the last sub case is similar to the previous sub case where we just increase the counter for i instead of uh, where we increase the counter for j in, in, instead of doing that we can simply increase this counter for j and keep uh, increase the counter for i and keep the counter for j at the same place and then we have four such sub cases and what we need to do is to find the best answer from all of these possibilities answer here would be the maximum of all of them uh, from answer 1 to answer 4 and the last thing that we need to take care of is that we ensure that we don't take any empty subsequence so all right so let's see how we can do this in, by coding in c++ code this in c++ quickly so we can initialize to in, uh, in indexes and what we need to check is if i is uh, equals to nums one dot size or j is equals to nums two dot size in both of these cases we need to also we need to ensure that we are keeping a counter or i would say let's keep a flag which will tell us initially should be zero uh, in that case if the flag equals to equals to zero then we need to return minimum otherwise uh, i mean flagging this to be invalid case otherwise we can return zero and also yeah uh, otherwise what we can do is we can have an answer uh, in fact uh, an answer can be long long end and this should be uh, nums of 1 into this the first case that we discussed nums of 2 into sorry this should be nums 2 of i and nums 1 of i and nums 2 of j plus uh, max dot product with nums 1 nums 2 i plus 1 j plus 1 and flag now this flag should be changed to 1 because we have included one such product otherwise what we can have is maximum of answer comma solve for the next sub problem without including anything and increasing both of the counter and keeping the flag as it is otherwise the other possibility would be to increase and we also need to pass nums1 and nums2 as well and let's just copy paste it here and remove j plus 1 from here and in this case let's remove i plus 1 from here so the answer should be maximum of all of these so we have taken the maximum value already let's see if this works it says yeah this is not the function name okay no matching function for these two values so we can just simply change this to long long int and this seems to be working the only thing that remains here is that we need to do a memoization so we can just uh, have a DP table of 509 cross 509 and 2 to keep track of flag as well and let's say for now we keep a uh, check or filled already so we have a flag which will check if our DP table is already filled with minus 1 then we don't have to do this again and again every time otherwise what we shall do is we shall not meme set meme set dp of minus one size of dp and we shall toggle the flag dp flag field to be true and now we can just check if we have already calculated this particular sub problem then we just 
return this particular value otherwise we shall continue to calculate this one let's see how it works so we can also keep this one as a, a long long end just ensure let's take few other examples as well minus 3 minus 2 and for this one it should be 21 yep and for the last case it should be minus 1 all right it seems to be working let's submit and see yeah it worked so all right thanks guys for watching this video